afternoon, beloved saints, um, TGIF. You know, my dad went and saw the Large Hadron Collider uh, over in Switzerland a few years back. And ever since, I try to keep up with it. I, I don't get into conspiracy theories too much because the enemy's plans are going to come to naught anyway. So, no need to get all scared about it. But I did want to mention something interesting here. The uh, BBC put out... Uh, an article about the ghost particles and I'm not sure because they're speaking in all the all of these um, all this jargon this physics jargon a lot of people might might not see what's happening here so basically what happens is they're banging these particles together at high speed just a little bit less than the speed of light trying to figure out how the universe was created uh open up the bible and read the first page of genesis save you a lot of time and a lot of money but okay uh, so what they're doing is banging them together, but what they realize is that when they split up and they, you know, bash into each other and they turn into all these little particles, that some of the particles are just poof, disappearing, like into another dimension. They're not using words like dimension because, uh, they don't want to alert anyone. I find it interesting that they have Shiva, the god of destruction, who wears skulls around his belt, um, and multi-armed, which most people believe is multi-dimensional. See, what they call fourth dimensional space, even though we're in three dimensional space plus the this dimension of time making it four dimensions, they're talking about four dimensional space plus time, so it'd be five dimensions. Uh, and so what's happening is they're realizing that there is a realm they can't see. And that some of these particles are disappearing into that spirit realm. Into this fourth dimension that we know exists because the host of heaven exists there. In our language, it would be called the second heaven. It's the spatial realm sitting right on top of ours, right? That we don't perceive. Every now and then, the walls or the veils thin and we'll catch a glimpse uh, or somebody lets something in by bringing it through. But normally we don't see it. And so what they're doing here is they're going to basically go into this dimension to see where these particles are going. Because they're not disappearing as in like evaporating. They are going somewhere else. And they know this because the particles are doppelgangers of each other. Do you know how they have that, that quantum theory that this particle knows something that a particle way over here knows too? It's like they're connected. So the information is shared between the two. So it's kind of like that. So uh, it, listen to this quote they give you, okay? We are explorers. And we believe that we can see something interesting, I bet you do, in this new terrain. So we have to take a look. Do you really now? Y'all ain't hear about that cat? <laughs> the one that was curious and got killed? <laughs> I just, I, I, I'm just, wow. Yeah, see, there's stories of this in ancient technology. Babel, which means the gate of the gods, built a tower up into the heavens, but it wasn't reaching just by height. See, we, we know mountains. They used to know mountains, like Mount Sinai was a place where the gods dwelt. And Sinai is where Moses went up and met the Lord. So it's dimensional. Mount Hermon is where the fallen angels were. So you'll see these things where they enter another realm of space a fourth dimension of space and it's what we call the second heaven uh it's not way way far away it's right on top of us so i just wanted to share this with you guys not to scare you but this is the stuff they're messing with okay and even even stephen hawking who was an atheist staunch atheist said you you might bring some intelligence here you don't want to mess with yeah mm -hmm. yeah so just just saying what y'all doing good gracious you you know i'm not a fear monger i don't i don't because i know god's got our back so don't fear 
We walk by faith, not by sight. I don't care what they say, what they're doing. We know who won. Won, not is going to win. Won. Do not fear. We have overcome. Why? Because he has overcome the wicked one. God bless you guys.